Okay, so when your E3 Live arrives, as you know, you're going to get five units of 408 millilitres uh, per unit. What we need to do is put three of those into the freezer, take two of them out, or keep two of them out, take your container, fill it up with warm water, just to, you know, like a, a, a meat, get a plumber to fix your tap. And then put the E3 into the container, making sure that it stays upright. Okay, that's fine. So there you go. We're going to leave that now for 30 minutes. So get a timer, 30 minutes. See you in a second. Okay, so here we are, uh, half an hour later, 30 to 40 minutes later. So let's get rid of this water. Best thing to do when you grab yourself a bowl, and you're going to need a funnel. Because what we're going to do, we're going to open these up, and then you're going to grab an ice cube bag, which you can pick up from any supermarket. Make the hole just a, I'll make the hole just a tad bigger, just to get the funnel in there. Otherwise it starts to overflow. I use the bowl in case there's any spillage. If there's any spillage, then I'll just, well you'll see in a second, if there is any. And then we go. Let's get it flowing down there. Now I've noticed it tends to expand in the freezer, so don't fill it to the brim. Just kind of fill it up enough. There you go. So let's put that one in the freezer, and then obviously anything left over down the hatch. Okay, and that's that. Okay, now once it's frozen, it's going to be like this, yeah? Sorry. So, if you want, every single day when you make your juice, you can pop a couple of cubes out and put them in your juice, and that's that. Or what I like to do is take the whole amount out, put it into a container, put them back in the freezer, and then that way there's no fussing around in the morning. You do your juice, you open your container, you chuck them in, and you're done. So let's just do that now, just so that you can see what I mean. Bingo!